Hi, I'm going to show you a short tutorial on how to register yourself on contractor orientation. Now from the home page it's very simple. Just go up to the top menu bar, click the button that says register. Now as a user you are attached to a company, you know you're employed with a company. So what you want to do is first find your company if your company is listed in our database. You can either click on the corresponding letter to the alphabet which will pull up the complete listing of all of those companies that start with the letter A or B or you could type in the name of your company or any character string search um, and I'm gonna do that as an example so I just typed in ADVA and I'm gonna hit search so that's going to come up with every company that has that character string search at the beginning now I'm gonna just pull up an example a sample company that we put in for the use of this example of registering. Now advanced media technology let's say I'm employed with that company and I'm going to go ahead and put in my email. Now you type in your personal email in here I'll show you Joe at Joe let me, Joe Smith ooh I can't spell Joe Smith dot com. So that's my email I'm going to type in my name, Joe. Make sure everything's spelled correctly there. And then uh, put in my birthday. And you notice over here, you have to use those slash marks or it'll come up with an error. So I'm going to put in, um, put in my birthday. And I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. Now before I do this, there is a little trick here that if you happen to not have an email address you can put any thing in this field as long as it's six characters and it's easy for you to remember now there is a catch with that I'll show you on this next screen once you submit it goes in and it will assign you a student ID number that's going to be your password and your login is your registered email address which is what I put in joe at joesmith.com or like I said before if you have anything in that field as long as it's six characters and easy to remember now you'll have to write down the student ID number because if you did not put an email in there there's no way for us to communicate with you now you'll notice down here it does say that an email has been sent to your administrator and your administrator then is going to validate your passwords so if right now you tried to log in and register it's going to give you an error message so I'll show you I'm going to copy my password and I'm going to go ahead and close this window and I'm going to go ahead and try to log in now if I put in my um, oh, put up here my login joe at joesmith.com I'm going to put in that password that student ID number and it is case sensitive you'll notice that this comes back with an error message that says user not validated and basically what that means again is an email has been automatically sent to your company administrator to validate your password so if they're out for a cup of coffee or out of the office have not checked their email then that's what the issue is you can go ahead and either drop us an email um, click on the support button right here or just drop us an email or call our office and we'll get you validated right away.